Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you like the new setup. This is what we'll be continuing with for a few weeks. I'm also trying to get consistent with my uploads. Uh, make sure to comment down below how much uploads you want in a week and what day would you like to see an upload. Today we'll be learning on After Effects how to do this. This is a very simple and a basic technique in After Effects. Today I'll be teaching you After Effects is not as hard as it seems. It can be overwhelming for some time but it's very simple and easy to use if you know what to do. And today I'm going to tell you what to do to make this. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and let's get into, it, into this one. let's start with the first step is to do is to make a new composition before making anything before even working on it the first thing we need to do is to save this project and because after effects does not save once you make the composition and this is very very essential part i must say because if you're working on it for three hours and then you go in and lose the project then you got to work again three hours obviously after crying for two hours that you lost your project and let's just name it joshi and also if you save the project beforehand auto save of the after effects only works if you have saved the project prior to working so this is how is the basic loadout i have made a few changes like adding paragraph align character panels which you can find in this window tab here are all the panels you can add paragraph and tools everything is here so whatever you want with your taste you can add everything so let's get into the first thing is to add a text layer so this t here represents text so let's again just write joshi and uh, this is the reason why i had this align panel here is just to align this and it really makes your job easier so as you can see i already have a handwritten font so i'll leave the links in the description to download this particular font and uh, it's really suggested to use a handwritten font as obviously you are doing a write on and you don't want a font like Calibri or something like that which is obviously not handwritten so uh, let's get into this we can also check for title and action safe so yeah it seems safe as it's just crossing this a bit and uh, a bit from here which doesn't really matter as we can resize it in Premiere Pro or wherever you want it so next what we'll do is simply make a mask not a mask as in Premiere Pro's mask masks in After Effects work a bit differently so firstly what we'll do is grab this pen tool which looks like a fountain pen just beside tool uh, the text tool and what you need to do here is to make the mask in the sequence you want it to appear in it shouldn't be like o is happening first and then the j is it should be as in how you would write j o s h i or whatever you are writing so we'll select uh, this layer and we have the pen tool selected and we'll make the first line which is gonna be the upper stroke of the j and we leave it here because first this happens and you already know what i'm saying and next we'll make a stroke this roughly needs to be in the center not very precisely but roughly so that it doesn't seem weird or ridiculous it should be a bit professional so that just keep it in the center and i'm not going to talk a lot so let me just time lapse it so as we have made the mask in roughly the center of all our characters next what we need to do is to add the main effect which we are going to use so as we have roughly made the masks in the center of all the characters next we need to do is to add the basic effect which we are going to use here is the effect then go to 
generate and it should be some yes this is generate now you have a write on which is the after effects uh, preloaded effect to write on but that's very complicated to use so we'll not use that one and here we have the stroke so we'll add the stroke and uh, you can see we have a lot of effect controls here and what is the basic things you need to do are two things here the first is select all masks and make sure that stroke sequentially is selected so that it makes the strokes in the sequence you make them then we need to this paint style you go and you need to use a reveal original image so what uh, as you can see it has uh, disappeared it's because of the brush size we are using here so if you increase the brush size to basically get uh, the characters to appear and then we'll just scribble through end this and as you can see it's happening in the sequence you have selected in and uh, for the most part of it we are done here but we need to time code it so that you know where to start and where to end so what we need to do is start uh, press this end button and once you go at the end so we had a 10 seconds timeline so this all will get revealed in 10 seconds and then complete it to 100 so if we have a look at it so this is how it looks you can you can always and always increase the speed of it decrease the speed of it by using this end percentage so for example if i want it to end at four seconds what we'll do is select this and again make it to a hundred if we press the space bar again then we can see it is appearing faster and it's all about how you want it all these can be used to personalize and to make the effect yours what we do here is what I like to do is increase the brush hardness to a hundred percent so that this actually looks a bit more handwritten rather than a computer generated effect so as you can see it's a bit better and you know editing is everything about these little small touches we add into it and this is what we have make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like the video and I'll meet you in the next video.